Before we move on, who's the next head coach at Notre Dame? Kyle Boone took care of our uh, our candidates list. Uh, I, okay, so to answer your direct question, I don't know. And number two, I don't think Jack Swarbrick will know even by a month from now because we are in the middle of a season. And what? the way these what the way we're, in the these middle, we're in the middle of a season. That's right. The way these things go. You know, there might be a guy who could be a candidate right now, but if his team goes into the gutter, then that might not be the case uh, because those things, right or wrong, can can influence a decision. But in in talking to some folks over the past, whatever, 16, 20 hours here, um, the candidates based in logic that I would target are Chris Holtman, who I don't know if he'll leave. I don't know if he would leave Ohio state or not, but he has won in that state before has done well in the Midwest and obviously has the track record. Um, I would knock on, and I gave Boone this name. I don't know if he wants to leave and he's older, not he's not, but he's 58. Greg McDermott has done a lot at Creighton and sometimes, sometimes this is the case. Sometimes it's not, but sometimes coaches will just be like, you know what? How about one more? reboot how about one more fresh start and he might not want it at all Creighton fans I'm not trying to kick your coach out of your program but when you look at candidates that would be theoretically achieved I mean he coaches at a Catholic school now he's been a Creighton for a long time and if anything like they were a preseason top 10 team maybe they wind up you know getting really good in over the next six weeks and they 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 match preseason expectations but it's just been a little bit bumpy and I can see why a coach might say you know what let me hit the reset button Chris Quinn is a former Notre Dame player, of course, he's been in the NBA for like eight years now. I had three people tell me on Thursday night uh, that they believe that not only he will, will he be on the short list of candidates, but he should have a, a realistic shot at getting the job. If he wants to leave the NBA, that is a dynamic to keep in, keep in mind. There are some guys that get to that level at the NBA, even though they would make theoretically good college coaches. Once you are living in that lifestyle and you think you might be in the NBA pipeline and you you think, well, maybe, you know, if I if I keep at it here, maybe I'll be a, be a head coach within three, five, six years. They don't want to leave. So that remains to be to be seen on that. Um, I don't think Martin Inglesby at Delaware is going to get the job because although he certainly is deserving of an interview, um, I don't know if there's been quite enough success there. I could be wrong. I also talked to one guy who said, you know, Jack Swarbrick, and I do agree with this entirely. Jack Swarbrick, who holds a unique position in college sports. You know, he's the AD at Notre Dame, but he also has a, he's had, you know, he's been involved in the college football playoff expansion discussions because of where Notre Dame stands as an independent in college football. Um, he's dealt with, you know, major hirings and, you know, the departure, like Brian Kelly telling him I'm leaving and I'm going to LSU. He may beat to the tune and rhythm of his own drum a bit. And it wouldn't surprise me if we get to a point in March where if there's a rumored shortlist about Notre Dame, uh, if he might have a name on that list that nobody has, like he might go unconventional. Maybe he plucks someone out that doesn't seem like, uh, you know, one of the 10 most obvious names on the list there. Only other thing I'll add GP is that I have seen some Porter Mosier talk. I don't think that's based in reality. Um, while Porter might do a really good job at Notre Dame uh, and, and knows the Chicago area. Well, part of Notre Dame, obviously can you recruit Chicago, a very, very fertile recruiting ground. And that is a major factor. Porter Mosier's buyout is $9 million and he's been good, but he hasn't knocked it out of the park so far at Oklahoma. And there is certainly skepticism and this might inform the hire about how much Notre Dame will be willing to pay for its men's basketball coach. Because if you're going to pluck a sitting head coach at a power conference level, you are going to need to pay a buyout and that buyout number might change, but you'll need to pay a buyout. And then you're probably going to have to come uh, as one coach told me, they're going to have to come correct and pay North of 4 million to get almost any sitting high major coach that they think they want to coach their program. They cannot do this and think that they can say, we're going to pay you 3.1. That's not going to get it done. Traditionally, Notre Dame hasn't been willing to do that. So we will wait and see on that. That's why I actually think, you know, Another name that Boone had on that list was Dusty May. I don't, I'm not going to say he's a top three most likely candidate, but if Notre Dame is more leaning into like, let's just, let's hire young, let's hire energetic and let's, let's pay our new coach 1.9 million. Like maybe that's the route they go. Um, I don't think anyone really, really truly knows 
Jack Swarbrick's motivation for the right candidate or the candidate that he thinks is right right now. I think a lot of it is open speculation, but those are a few names to consider and a few names that I don't think will ultimately be um, that involved in the search. At the mid-major level, Martin Inglesby is an obvious candidate, former Notre Dame player and assistant. Um, I would certainly look that direction. Uh, Pat Kelsey at Charleston is having a nice season. Dusty May at FAU, FAU, like you said, having a nice season. If you're looking at the mid-major level, uh, those are three obvious places to look. Um, Porter Mosier, like you said, grew up two hours from South Bend. Um, you know, there are a lot of questions there. Would Notre Dame, like you say, pay that buyout? Would Porter want to leave Oklahoma for Notre Dame? Um, you know, only Notre Dame and Porter Mosier can answer those questions right now. Um, Micah Shrewsbury at Penn State uh, would be a, would, you know, raised in Indianapolis, so raised in the state, has worked at Purdue, worked at Butler, worked at IU South Bend. Uh, so he's familiar with the state, familiar with the area, um, has done nice things, is doing nice things at Penn State. Um, I, I saw this name out there, Monty Williams, um, head coach of the Suns. I, I mean, listen, NBA coaches don't want to coach in college, right? But the Suns are not doing well that's this, true. this season. And if that were to pop, um, maybe, but it, that, that wouldn't pop until after the C NBA season. And that's a, that's a weird calendar lineup issue that you would have to overcome so i would i'm skeptical of that but just i'm extremely skeptical i am too but i saw his name and he is a yeah. former notre dame player and obviously a, a great basketball coach and then the chris holtman thing on a surface level makes no sense whatsoever you would not leave ohio state for notre dame but you know like uh, ohio state fans are restless uh hasn't been to a sweet 16 yet uh let me be on the record if ohio state were to have to replace Chris Holtman or choose to replace Chris Holtman. I don't think the next coach would do as well as Chris Holtman has done. I mean, he might make a might might might, might go to the second week, but like Chris Holtman is a really good basketball coach and has broadly speaking done a nice job at Ohio State. He just hasn't had the tournament success that that fan base craves. And I'm not going to try to tell him that they shouldn't crave it. I'm just saying that he's good, um, but he is under real pressure and a reset at another high major program with a new contract, new fresh set of expectations and. A fresh fan base like that, that's something you would you would have to consider so you know that, that's a that's a pretty solid list of, of possible candidates uh, at, at Notre Dame but you know there's a long way to go between today and the day that 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 position is actually filled and a lot of stuff could change between now and then